Well, it may be baseball season, but gambling has become something of a political football this summer. The operator of the Meadowlands racetrack has told us only a matter of time before they get a casino there. Then one of Governor Christie's closest allies told us, essentially, forget about it. But now Assemblyman Ralph Caputo is back with us to take issue with John Hansen's statements about that. Welcome back. You, you. you feel strongly that the public really <laughs> has a right to sound off on this. Well, you know, historically, Atlantic City has been a great place uh, for visitors and for gaming. I worked in the industry for 20 years, <clears throat> so, I'm so I'm very familiar with the value of having uh, that type of corporation operating in the state, the kind of tax revenue that it generated. However, the monopoly that we created in 1977 uh, that was approved by the voters has really been disintegrated by the outside competition that's been created in Pennsylvania and New York. So the playing field has changed. We've got to change? The playing field has changed. So the monopoly that we created doesn't exist. And Atlantic City is not facing the reality that the gaming revenue, hundreds of millions of dollars, is now going to Pennsylvania and New York. And the state of New Jersey is being deprived of a tremendous amount of tax revenue that we desperately need for tax relief, for real estate, for education. Uh, for uh, whatever purposes that we need to fund our pensions, et cetera. But you hear Mr. Hansen talk authoritatively. He's got the governor's ear on this, that it's not going to happen while, the, while Chris Christie is governor. Steve Sweeney has made it very clear repeatedly that he doesn't want to let this thing move forward at all as well, right? Well, I respect them, uh, respectfully disagree with them, because I think only the people of the state of New Jersey should make that decision, not Mr. Hansen or any, any other individual. We're standing in the way of uh, allowing the voters to make that decision. How are you yeah. going to advance this legislation? Well, how are you going to get the, it out? I think the public now, we've had a hearing in the Meadowlands. There's been a long discussion on this. Many legislators from Middlesex County through Bergen, Passaic, and Hudson support my bill, which is ACR 53, which would place that question on the ballot. So I think the, the, the game has changed. And I, the fact is that uh, the tax uh, structure that we have is not working for the state. Uh, when we could have afforded to pay more than 8%, we didn't tax these casinos heavy enough. Now it's difficult, but if we had a casino in the Meadowlands, like in New York, we would be taxing them over 50%. How would you, I was going to say, everybody keeps saying, well, if you do this, we're going to have this two-tiered tax system for casinos. And how do you remedy that? So what? That wouldn't hurt? Wouldn't give somebody an unfair advantage? Well, or, or I think there is an unfair advantage already. What we want to do is defend ourselves against outside competition. Mm. Uh, the uh, state of New York at this time, in, by the end of July, already collected $662 million in tax revenue for the state without the rest of the year involved. Uh, we're, we're, we're giving up uh, in terms of gaming, uh, convenience gaming. Uh, what Atlantic City is concentrating on in a worthwhile endeavor is making it a resort destination. But we have to do something about the outflow of revenue and gaming throughout uh, these other states. But you know Atlantic City as well as anybody who's in, right. in Trenton right now. Does this not, though, speed up the process of taking down the, the revenue that would be going to those casinos down there and making it even tougher for them to survive or much less thrive? Well, that's a question I think it should be debated. But the fact is North Jersey, New York and Pennsylvania are the feeder markets for Atlantic City. They've already left in terms of convenience gambling. So what will the state do in terms of dealing with this particular problem? They should be considering a constitutional amendment for the Meadowlands. I think Senator Weinberg last week stated that uh, we should do a pilot program. She wanted to do it a week to right around Super Bowl time. Uh, I, I don't particularly agree with that, but the fact is I think it's good for the discussion. It should go on the ballot and people should make the decision. At this point, we're really uh, losing ground. Now, the governor's right about putting the reforms in Atlantic City. We should be doing that to make it a destination. But five years is too long down the line. We've got to monitor this thing very closely. The numbers should dictate, not what I say, not what anyone else says. The numbers should dictate what our decision is going to be. If we wait, do these other places that are being built in these surrounding states, do they get so entrenched that the business is lost forever, conceivably? It's possible. It's possible. The fact is we've got to monitor the situation closely, look at these numbers. If they continue to get worse and we can't depend on the revenue that we're getting out of Atlantic City at this point, it's going somewhere. Why shouldn't we recoup that money? I mean, it's just it's unreasonable to think anything else. Uh, about not exploring this opportunity. And there are many people that would probably be interested. To show you the hypocrisy. Harris has a casino, a uh, racino, 70 miles out of Atlantic City, yet they oppose this. It doesn't make any sense. Sounds like politics. It does, and, absolutely. And, and, and economics. Absolutely. Assemblyman, we have to leave it there. Thank Thanks you for so much. In. Appreciate Thank it. You, Mike.